Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 9-5-2022, and today is the Odin Project Vlog Day 145. Uh, happy Labor Day today for those of you who live in the U.S., and just happy day for everybody else. I had the day off work today, since it's a holiday here in the U.S., so I'm putting up a, a 10 a.m. video today. So, um, as per my community post, I just want to let you guys know that, um, in case you didn't see it, I, I've been, it's been a hot minute since I put up a video. I, I started Binary Tree, this project, uh, Project Binary Search Tree, Balance BST. Um, I'm 60% complete with the JavaScript course. I started this project a while back, and I took a break. Um, I was having some uh, burnout feeling, and uh, my work was crazy, and my home life was kind of crazy and and so I needed it something needed to give so this had to give for a little while so I came back to it uh, worked it as I could and then here I've gotten to a point where I feel like there was enough for video as per my community post I am going to chunk it up I'm not gonna do a big long one video like I did last time I didn't mean to do it like that but just um, it went on a lot longer than I anticipated um, I should have broke it up in a couple videos but I do plan on doing that here so uh, what I've done so far is I've done the usual. I created the uh, project in GitHub and cloned it down locally. And so uh, let's go ahead and get started with it. So uh, I won't read the intro here, but make sure you watch this art, watch this video, and read this article. If it really will give you a a general basic understanding of the BST algo and how it works. I will do a poor attempt today, but I will do an attempt to uh, explain my code to you and how it, how it works and how the call stack works. The, for me personally, the most confusing part about this algorithm is the recursive nature and how to uh, unwind that call stack is what I call that accordion style mentality that I was that I used as an example a couple videos ago. It's at play here again. So um, it's kind of hard to understand. It's a little bit easier when you can tree it out, which I'll show you in the code. Uh, in a minute. So we're going to build a balanced BST in this assignment. Do not use duplicate values because they make it more complicated and result in trees that are much more harder to balance. Therefore, be sure to always remove duplicate values or check for an existing value before inserting. So I did, I completed one, two, and three today, for today. So I did a node class, I created a tree class, and then I built a tree, a build tree function inside of tree. <coughs> Excuse me, Tretz is active. What's new, right? <laughs> built a uh, built tree function inside the tree class, and there's a pro tip here. I did utilize this pretty print um, uh, block of a, uh, a function here, um, and it works pretty good. I had to play with it a little bit to get it to work in my code base, but um, tip: if you'd like to visualize your binary search tree, here's pretty print function that will console out log your tree in a structured format. This format will expect to receive the root of your tree as the value of the node, which is right here, the node parameter. Um, so you'll see that in the code. Uh, I won't go over this chunk of code. I'll just show you where it's at. Um, you guys can, you know, I don't, for the brevity of the video, I won't go over it. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll let you go over it on your own time. So with that said, let's hit, let's hit the editor. So as always, the last couple of projects I've I've uh, I've put in the code for my node, my user bin node, in order to run node man, uh, monitor, so I can run the output in the terminal versus using you know console log in the browser. So uh, that's that why that there why that's there. Here's a function to print out the balance BST in the terminal we just went over. I literally just copied and pasted that in, and then. Um, <clears throat> The first thing here is we're going to build a node class factory. It should have an attribute for the data it stores as well as its left and right children. So here we go. Uh, I created a class called node and it's a constructor. Uh, so it's going to take in parameters of data, left and right. If if the uh, inputted parameters are not available or not or don't have any values assigned to them, they will be, by default be null. And that's why you see the equals null here. Otherwise, that will be overridden with the uh, value that is inside. And then here we're just assigning the the uh, making the assignments. So uh, <clears throat> data is this dot data. 
left is this dot left and right is this dot right for each node that's called and created. Okay, so that answers that, solves that. <clears throat> Here's where it gets a little tricky. Um, build a tree class factory which accepts an array when initialized. The tree class should have a root attribute which uses the return value of build tree which you'll write next. So here is the uh, tree class. So I created class tree. It's also a constructor, so we're going to uh, give it the input array, which is what I've defined as um, as the what it sounds like the input from the user. Uh, this dot root is equal to this dot build tree, and what this is doing is calling the build tree um, method in here. Um, and it's inputting input array, and this is uh, um, uh, the start position, and then this is the end position. As you can see in the build tree, it takes in three parameters, input array, start, and end. So uh, we put zero in there, because when I, when I call build tree, <clears throat> I want the start to be zero. Um, and that would be the... Uh, <clears throat> the first, uh, sorry, excuse me, <clears throat> the first index on the uh, far left, um, and then uh, input dot right dot length minus one. If you re recall from previously, that will uh, give you the end. So start and end build on this build tree will always look for the uh, first item, and the end will always be the end of the supplied array. So then when we, uh, and then the second line, we're doing to do a pretty print, this dot root, and that's pretty print is the uh, function that was uh, copy and pasted up here that built, that, that displays this uh, fancy dancy uh, structure here that we'll go over at the end. <clears throat> so then we got the build tree method in here. This is where it gets a little dicey. So I will do my best to explain this. So what happens is um, uh, we, it's a, it's a recursive method, so we have a we have a base case here. If start is greater than n, return null. We if you've uh, not skipped around, you've actually been over this uh, before. Um, you've been over uh, if if start is greater than n, we return null because that means that the BST has flipped, and so now uh, you are done because your your scanned um, your scanned uh, array is complete, and you've now flipped your roots the opposite direction so that may not make a lot of sense if you didn't if you skip the video so don't skip the video uh, that's in the assignment um, <clears throat> so I'm going to let mid equal uh, parse int so we're going to parse integer out the uh, start plus n divided by 2 so we're going to take the start and the n that was supplied through build tree from the tree class and divide by two to get the midpoint, which that make you know that's obvious. And then we're going to get root is going to take on new node input mid, so input array mid. So we're going to have the input array that was supplied up here, and in the index value we're going to give it mid. So whatever this uh, midpoint value comes out to be will be the inserted mid here, and that's going to equal root. Then we come down here. Root dot left is it takes on this dot build tree, so we're going to call build tree again. This is where we start working recursively. So we're going to we're going to call build tree again on itself with input ray start and mid minus one. And so this is how we're going to recursively go through it. We're going to take away from the mid every time we call root dot left, and then after we've done all the root dot lefts is is completed, and we back out with null because our start our uh, start is bigger than our end. We're going to go to uh, root dot right, and <clears throat> we're going to do this dot build tree input array mid plus one and end. So we're doing the opposite. So now we're doing the right side. So we want to do start and then do. Uh, so this is mid. I know it says mid. It's kind of confusing. So mid plus one is going to uh, increment your start value going to the right. So so your start array going to the right, and then so this one is decrementing and this one is incrementing all the way to the end so basically this one as it as it looks is moving left and this one is moving right and then at the end we're going to return root all right and then down here i have a, a very i've created my test array 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just to make things simple so I can make sure it was working right. Um, keep the example simple, and I created it called test input array. Um, commented that out for now because I didn't need it. And then I created a um, a uh, <clears throat> a temporary uh, variable called balance BST equals is going to take on a new tree, calling a new tree with test input. And remember, it's got to have a start and an end. So since we're starting at 1, we're going to put 1 in there. And we're ending at 7, so we're going to put 7 in there. And we're inputting the test input array, which is, uh, you know, the set of our values here. You could not do all this, and you could just simply put the array manually in here. But it, it seemed cleaner to me to put the variable. Uh, plus, you know, if you ever wanted to change your uh, logic and your variable, you only have to change it in one spot, change it here and it's done versus having to change it in multiple spots so that is why I wrote it like that and so how we're gonna do this so we're gonna come through the first time um, let's see if I can move this down a little bit we'll bring that back up so uh, we're gonna call new tree and, and input the array 1 and 7 so here's a cheers tray here's a tree we're gonna input our bring in the input array um, and this dot root is going to build is be this dot build tree so we're going to have the input array zero and uh, length minus one to get the front end and then it's going to print out the um, pretty print root right. so <coughs> let's see here okay so this is so that's how you get four. Um, so <clears throat> actually, no, you haven't got there yet. This is your is your root right here. Is it weird? Is this up? This line. So it's actually not a value. It's just a line. Again, uh, review the pretty print for how that works. So then we're going to go in here and we're calling uh, build tree right here. So uh, we're going to go into build tree. It's going to input array, start, and end, just as we supplied here. Um, if start is e uh, greater than end, return null, which is not our base case, is not true. So we're going to move into here. I uh, already explained that. So the first uh, iteration through, our mid is going to be 4 because that's half of the array, 3 on each side. Uh, and then the root is going to take on new node, input array, mid. So input array. Uh, position index 4 is going to be supplied into the new node um, and so new node will be uh, data equals um, okay so input array new node uh, data is going to be 4 uh, left is going to be um, uh, 3 and right is going to be 5 Okay, and then we come back down here, and that's root. Um, so uh, root is four, and then um, we're going to uh, do a build tree. Uh, so here's where we're going to do uh, build tree, this dot build tree on the same um, iteration, or not iteration, recurs recursion here, and we're going to do the left side first. So input array start in mid minus one. Like I just described, we're decrementing here. Um, to uh, get to the left, so we're decrementing going going uh, this direction. So uh, four is our first print, and then we're going to then run the, the build tree again. Uh, so we're going to get a two because that is the uh, the mid becomes the root. Um, so two uh, then gets printed here, and then we're going to go to the left again, and we're going to see here have one that's the only root availability possibility and that prints one and then and then when the sec when it comes through this next time uh, start will be greater than n and return null so there's no null on the tree here because it's not wrote into the logic that was provided to us in the example but uh, that just imagine that that would say null at the end so what we're doing now is we have to back up the call stack so we're going to go back to two so we're going to do uh, call stack again so now we're at the again it's hard to describe this uh, hopefully you watch the video because it goes over the call stack really well and how to do that so we're crawling back up the call stack so when we go back to two 
we have uh, we do have a a right node or yeah excuse me right node at two so we're gonna do root dot right equals this to build tree so now we're gonna add the mid plus one is going to be three two plus one is three and we're gonna uh, print that out here three and then we're going to uh, uh, move again to the uh, to the left on this one and uh, there is no um, um, that's not right we've already done left so we do we do yeah left root dot left is going to come out as 2 minus 1 is 1 so that's going to be null starts bigger than null so then we're going to do the right um, and right will be uh, uh, 3 minus 1 2 uh, 2 uh, 3 greater than 2 and null so there's another null right there uh, so there would be two nulls there um, and then we're going to go back up to the call stack to uh, 4 and I'm sorry if this is not making total sense. I'm trying to do it here, but it's really hard without visuals. So again, I know I keep saying this. But please make sure you don't skip the previous videos and learning modules over uh, balance BST. Uh, it's just BST plus it balances it. So uh, that's how this algorithm works. So we're going to go to four again. And this time we're going to go to uh, root dot right. And we're going to build tree in that way. And so uh, we're, we are at four here. And then we're going to evaluate the root. Uh, the um, these the midpoint of four would be six. Uh, we print six, uh, and root becomes six, um, and then uh, and then we go evaluate five and six because we're going left, and we only have five to choose because five is the only other available value. 5 gets printed and then we run through it again and it'll be null because uh, the uh, the start is greater than the end and we go and then it's time to go right and it'll be null because uh, uh, 5 plus 6 or 5 plus 1 is 6 and uh, no how's that no I'm sorry uh, start is 5, mid is 5 minus 1 is 4. So 5 is greater than 4, return null. So that will be a null. Come back up here to 6, uh, go back in the call stack, and we are going to uh, then uh, uh, go evaluate the right, tri right side tree again. So we're adding the mid. Uh, we're going to print 7, and then uh, we will look to the, uh, to the left. And we're going to have start and mid minus 1. So start is uh, 7, obviously, because there's nothing else to compare it to. Mid is 7 minus 1, 6. Start is greater than end, so null. And then going to the right side, build tree, uh, be mid plus 1. So we it's only 7, so 7 plus 1 is 8. And end is 7, and so 8 is larger than 7, so we return null. So I kind of hope I did a good job of explaining that. Um, another way to look at it, um, and that's how that works, is um, up here I was messing around. I was able to get um, I was able to get it to print. This is how it would print in council if you, just in series if you don't if you don't like the look of the tree, which I kind of do because it helps explain it and understand it better. But you have four, two, one, three, six, five, seven, which matches here because you remember on the balance BST, you always do left first. So you have four, two, one, we already called two, three, back up here, six, five, and then over to seven. So that's that's how in the correct order. Four, two, one, three, six, five, seven is the solution for the balance BST for this particular example. So that's that. Um, and that is that. So I hope I did a decent job explaining it. Uh, please rewatch for further understanding. If you didn't get it the first time, I kind of went quick, um, and I may have not explained it super well. I tried my best. This is not an easy algorithm to uh, to chew on. So uh, next time I will be uh, going 
on to uh, four, five, six, see how far I get, and then I'll make another video. So uh, thank you for coming along the journey with me today. hope you had a little fun along the way. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content. And let me know in the comments section how you guys are doing so far with Balanced BST Project. So with all that said, till next time, see ya.